Hi, everyone. Hello, familiar faces and new faces. Um, thank you to our ASL linguist. Thank you so much. Hi, Doggo. I saw Doggo in the audience. <laughs> Hiya, plants in the room. It's the solstice, everybody. Um, I really, um, I feel very honored and proud actually to be part of the tradition that uh, Joni explained, the Chautauqua. Hopefully I said that right. Um, it's in keeping with the first poem. It's in keeping with what I do, I think. Um, right now, my professional titer, titles are teacher by day, poet freak by night. Um, <laughs> and I've been some version of those two, I think, most of my life, besides like cleaning and cooking and stuff, which is very artist and teacher things. Um, but the first poem I want to read for you is about going to school, getting a whole bunch of loans, finding the most amazing decolonizing community or series of communities I could think of in a shit institution, which is academia. And um, postponing this idea of watching the debates as, um, as an immigrant. The, the, it was the presidential debates at the time. And long story short, I went to my neighbor's house who are fellow amazing queer North African and Arab folk. And I decided I, I just need to watch one of them. And um, they made a big fuss about the candidates not shaking hands at the end. So this came out. It's called, Just Come Over at 9 PM. <laughs> what do I know of the life of a scholar watching guys like cameras reading me back? The laundromat TV opens two faces like a book. I can't avoid the perfect hairdos and blue eyes. Duck behind book, defer intention and entanglement that might as well be silent until war is declared. Prepare for silence with silence and scholarly license or labor. Prepare for past revolutionary lyrics whose time has passed. Prepare for the ticking bomb of some stories reframing like mornings after birth. Speaking makes for a scepter of a story you say Mosul, and all stories are more self than referential to him. The limits of a body as movement of movements. The limits of a body as movement of movements. A moving autopsy carrying laundry, pampered of bookstores. Fold me screen gazers and spin me out running, book pumping out of our gentrified neighborhood. An exuberant failure, a moving image that thinks, I can help or end you so much. Raba, protective edge, pulse, all my former homes. Raba, protective edge, pulse. My eye colonizes me. I don't want to see anti blonde hairdo in the mirror. That's not all I am. Survive, though, the people I disagree with who stretch me, naming backward all whom he sees as backwards. And how many ways can she intersectionally graph a drone? Is this the nasty woman I fall short of becoming, dear family? Is he the pout into whose descent I fail to nest, a hungry teacher gripping bookworms ringing beneath my sweaty brow? When did a book of faces become my questions, a genealogy of Facebook? Read my anxieties. My IDs out and my Muslim cunt is bearded wide open. Are these the limits of the scepter as co-author of its monsters? A mortar pantsuit outgrown by a heavier soul or something? A deferred pie in the face, a terrorist wish on a playing card, orange so unworthy of the service industry labor. So, I leave my desk like dew dissenting off a plant, bed and iPhone applications too. I forget my wallet to buy booze. I carry the closed reading of a closed book in my left lung. I knock on a neighbor to finally visit and finally watch one of the debates. I watch blue eyes with my eternal failure to watch from beneath an Aleppo crack, as if that's something it silently always is. White suit, red tie, cold bear is still funny, beef stew and charred lemons and champagne, all over Arab and Arabophile queers, a miracle so ridiculously mundane, and for all the wrong reasons, and for all the wrong reasons, we watch how two liberations never made it right. 
Go to sleep with a silently shattering mirror in the right lung for imagined bodies that dare, that don't sleep, to bomb dubstep, that don't dare sleep unfolded photograph. And they didn't shake hands at their end. So then I come to Portland like two years ago. And uh, this town was rough at first. Let's just say that. Um, it's a tough town to start for, uh, to start in, I think. And um, I thought by now, living in the US 15 years, I accumulated enough privileges to make it work. And it was still pretty, it was a challenge. Um, and then I found, you know, I found the wild ones, I found the resistors, I found the, I found the ones that are holding it down for worlds here that will never be forgotten and that will always remain uh, beyond all the settlerisms. And um, this was my dedication to them. This was my love for them. And I wrote it about, um, this one's more recent from maybe five months ago. And it's called Ehde, um, which means dedication. Call on me stretch mark the sunrise. I am enough of a dark hole. I'm tired of poisoning myself with pigments to signal the galaxies. Crossing pavement, I feel my sneakers burn. Some meridian tug to the rubber heart. Your words have been my only anti-lava lately. Steam rises in the emptiness you leave beside. The rain mirages concrete into ocean. And I doubt that I know the words at the back of my skull. Everything I say, like my vision is inverted, rains upward to the highest sky of my past. These footsteps, back in their day, these footsteps, they massed protest stampedes. Encyclopedias were undone with a finger lick. A people's history of paperless sunsets. A broken heart tear on Coney Island. Lungs and tongues, salons, music and wine. The rosemary solitude, those undocumented hours and hours. But why? Why all this? Why all this? I guess this is my arabesque. The heavy references that light the design I served, a happy dust mite, and still do, and still keep alive. I do on unfamiliar plants and drip and contain myself again. And your eyes thirst for the soggy fingerprints. You know the crumbling walls I come from. The interstellar dents I leave in this place. And I never once mistook you for a toothpick. Something to unclog the semantics of love with. You were never an experiment to me. I saw you a string that, plucks, that plucked the cords of God in the force and shouted, what was your name again? And I... A happy proton did, and still do, carry the atomic weight of unsolicited wars and weapons tests, of badges of honor plucked just beneath the bruise, of makeup apologetics, of the most beautifully coward liquor, books untouched or unwritten again year after year after year. But I'll write it next year. It's next year. This year, this is the year I'm going to write it. My new stories and their dream of a common language are too far. Shout out to Adrian Rich, dream of a common language. Where are my new stories, though? Where are my new stories here? Where are you, fam? Flesh and tongue, kahwa wa araq. I'm down here thirsting for your sediment, for you. I'm down here thirsting, sorry. I'm down here thirsting and your sediments lay familiar. And so I lie. And so I run. This water crisis is here to stay and it so calls, and I'm unashamed in my folds and staring at the shine through the slit, this black silt and blinding bone, a single surviving genus of a gorgeous and quietly global herd, found here too, found here too, and I await nothing. I await nothing. I mean, I'm still waiting around here. I don't know. I don't know anymore in the warmth of this subterranean campfire moment, making out with the steam, sharp and gentle, and a lone star cries its way into the coast, dripping in its moonlight. 
and I reveal, and I decide, look, I belong.